Hi again. This week in Shepherd Media's conversations with key DSEI participants, I'm talking to Maxine Ashbrook, Head of Marketing for Fujitsu Defence and National Security. Hi, Maxine. Hi, Darren. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, just before we kick off, I'm curious to know what the experience of a large organisation like Fujitsu was uh, during that initial period in March when lockdown was announced. Well, what an interesting time it was. Um, Fujitsu actually was watching it massively, as you can imagine, um, and actually we were one week ahead of government advice. So we put our people um, into lockdown a week before everyone else did, um, which was really important because what it did was it just showcased our concern for the safety of both our employees as well as our customers. What we also did was we communicated to them almost instantly to let them know what we were doing and to make sure that they understood that all their requirements were safeguarded um, and that we would be able to continue the very important delivery that we have with them. Uh, in a matter of two weeks, um, we actually had over 20,000 people working at home. That's incredible. Um, massively. And um, our network held up brilliantly as it should. Um, and it has for our customers too. Um, not only did we facilitate people working at home, but also we had to make sure that our key workers were able to go into the office. Um, they deliver the national critical infrastructure. Um, and again, we needed to make sure that they were safe. So everything has gone extremely well. And as an organization, we're really proud of what we were able to achieve. That's good to hear. Um, Moving sort of more focused into your area specifically, I mean, three months into the crisis, how is it impacting the marketing activities for you and your team? Well, it's been a massive change. Um, for us in Fujitsu Defence, we're all about building strategic long-term relationships with our customers. Um, and this has been a long-term strategy that we've developed to make sure that we have these touch points because of all the efforts we've done um, in creating this over the past few years, it has meant that we've been able to continue this virtually. So something as simple as picking up the phone. Mm -hmm. um, but in other elements, we've had to adapt quite rapidly, as everyone has. So a good example is everything's gone digital, as is our interview today. Um, so we've had to engage on a more digital platform it's been really difficult because our marketing has always been face-to-face -face, um, and it's been through large events like DSCI to small events to responsible business initiatives um, or into sponsorships and uh, COVID-19 just wiped it out. Um, but we are seeing a change um, and, and actually I think like all other organizations, we're embracing that change. Um, and we are seeing success from it. Uh, if you would sort of sum up some of the benefits and the challenges from being restricted to one specific channel, so electronic marketing channel, I mean, what would you sum those up be? I think for us, it's been about being able to listen. So we've looked at a lot of social listening across the digital platforms. Um, and what it's enabled us to do is to hear what our customers are talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, that has also been the case for us listening to our delivery teams, our sales teams, those people who are constantly interacting with our customers. And for us, it's been able, we've been able to focus and harness our marketing into those key messages that our customers need to know about. Mm. Um, and I think that's been a massive benefit for both us as marketers and our customers. Um, this whole situation has made us realize that when you send communications out to customers or market out to them, it often can be a whole range of things that they're not particularly focused on. Mm. Um, and we've really had to fine tune everything down because of everyone trying to react to the crisis we've been in and make sure that everything was appropriate to what they needed to know. I, I mean, we've looked at it as well, and, and what we've certainly seen is you sort of go from sort of broadcast transmit, where you're just trying to push out as much information as possible, 
to really trying to work out what engages your um, your stakeholders and, and makes them sort of engage with your content more. Is that something you've sort of experienced? Absolutely, um, very much about engagement, but I think also very much around necessity. Um, so the the environment that we work in within the defence sector, um, it, it's very much about delivering what is required at this point, making sure that we can provide them with everything they need um, for them to do their job successfully. And at the same time, looking at innovation. So we've never stopped innovating as um, this crisis has unfolded because we need to shift what we're doing to the next level. So it's, it's a bit of both. Um, it's making sure that we're telling them that everything that um, is going on is, is, is supported and accurate and, and we're driving it forward and then also help them get to that next stage. I mean, we're here talking because sort of DSCI has put us together you know sort of looking forwards as much as you can um how important are live events um big trade shows like dsei going to be in your marketing mix going forward into next year so for us dsei is massively important um, and the reason is is that it becomes the global showcase for our difference offerings and for our innovation so we use dsei as a salivate so this is where we put out our ways um, and we show everything in a very integrated approach. Um, DSCI, as, as everyone knows, is such a huge amount of work, um, but, but I love it. And I think we all thrive on going into DSCI um, with this fully integrated marketing approach. Um, we also use it as an opportunity to engage with our stakeholders, um, and reinforce that relationship that we have with them and also to expand it um, to the other countries that are there, the more global platform, um, as well as all the governments. What we also do is make sure that um, we integrate our responsible business messages, which is also a big part of marketing for me. Um, it's absolutely about giving back. So what we have is um, we always have some support with SAFA, um, who are also the DSCI charity partner. Mm -hmm. um, and we also showcase our commitments to the many armed forces sports teams that we have. And what this does is it brings in an element of fun into the stand, um, which is also great. And, and is there anything sort of particular in terms of objectives or projects for the next DSCI that you're particularly focused on? So the one element we are extremely excited about um, is the launch of the new future tech hub. So if anything, um, this crisis has absolutely shown us the massive importance around defense digital and driving digital to the next level. Mm -hmm. So the introduction of this new um, future tech hub is around the ability to showcase how we can change this environment um, and we are absolutely delighted that we are going to be part um, of the whole build up um, and shaping of what this is going to look like for next year so sort of in summary um what are the lessons you think you've learned from the current crisis and and how do you think that's going to change your approach to marketing marketing in the future i think it's about fine tuning it's about honing in your messages. It's about listening, as I've said. Um, it's about understanding our customer. Uh, I hope, I really hope things do revert back um, to a small degree around that face-to-face -face interaction. I, I think it will. That is how defense works. Um, and I think we all enjoy that element of it. But there is no doubt this is a brand new world that we're living in um, and we have to adapt and, and understand that things are not going to revert back to how it was. So let's continue listening. Let's continue shaping that marketing mix um, and let's keep on, um, I suppose, innovating and, and experimenting on what these new platforms look like um, that could really redefine what marketing is about. Thanks, Maxine. It's been really interesting having you with us. Thank you, Darren.
And if any of you would like to join the conversation, you can start talking to us or DSEI or Fujitsu indeed uh, by contacting us through our social media channels. Thank you.